guys, it's Judy, and this is part two of my Dollar Tree haul, and this is actually, um, from between the last one and this one, it was at two different Dollar Trees. Um, so, let's get started. Just to continue, I also had gotten flashcards um, for my son. We had gotten the addition one, the subtraction one, multiplication one, and now division. I know division is kind of hard for um, a five-year-old, but I just thought I'd get it for when he's ready, you know, because it is hard. I mean, I have a hard time with division. <laughs> so, but he saw it. He was actually with me when he picked this up. He goes, look, there's a division one. So, or he said it funny. He div Divis one or something. So I'm like, yes. So if you want it, get it. It's a dollar. So, I mean, these are, you know, pretty cool. They have just to show, um, the math and the, I mean, the math, the, the multiplication, addition, and subtraction are pretty much the same. So basically they have this, and then the answer is over here in the back of the card. And then, so the answer to this one is over here. And what I've been doing with him, with the addition ones, is basically I have a notebook, like one of those composition notebooks, and then I, ha I have him pick out like 10 cards for the addition, not division, <laughs> the addition and then I write them all down, and then I have him, I can hold on to the card so he can't peek at the answers, and then I have him, you know, do the 10, 10 equations, and then I check it with the cards, and then, and then if he gets it right, he gets it right, yay, and he gets to see, you know, and he, the thing is, I, I like giving him some choice where he kind of picks the cards himself, um, but, of course you see him trying to pick the easy ones, <laughs> but then I'll flip it over and do the other side, which is usually harder. But anyway, that's just an idea of how I use the cards. And um, also, because I like having him write things down, write out the answer, rather than just look at the card and say what it is. I want him also to practice his penmanship so I, or his writing his numbers and stuff and seeing it on the paper. So, just FYI. <laughs> and then, also, I bought a jump rope. I don't know if this is too girly or whatever. I might just duct tape this with my duct tape. Because it's kind of glitzy, you know. But they had, like, a yellow one, but it was, like, a plastic cord. And I don't know how I feel about that. That's, like, so... Um, it looks dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. So, um... I just remember rope ones and then growing up and then I usually just tied a knot to make it heavy so it would turn, right? I don't know. It says six. I'm going to see if he's ready to learn to jump rope. It might be a little early for him. But great form of exercise. And then next, um, kitchen stuff. I found a bunch of things um, I thought were cool. I have these crust and cookie and sandwich, not cookie, crust and sandwich cutters. So this cuts like the diagonal and then the crust off, which is perfect for my son. But then he also saw, he saw the butterfly. He went to the butterfly. So I got him a butterfly one. And you know, my son's picky with eating. So I thought these will really help make him you know, want to eat his sandwiches. He eats his, he doesn't eat sandwiches. He'll take the bread off, you know, I'll make it as a sandwich, but he wants it separate. He wants his ham, uh, you know, separate his, with his cheese and then the bread separate. So he'll eat the bread and then he'll eat the meat or whatever instead of eating it like a sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But um, I'd like him to start trying it like a sandwich. And I found these. I bought two of them because, you know, I love to bake. And this is so cool because it's just one measuring item, you know, cup, um, spoon. It's one measuring spoon that you just kind of slide up and down for the measurements, you know. And it goes up to four teaspoons. That's interesting, you know. But it goes, it does teaspoons. Well, they don't have tablespoons, huh? So is how many, I think eight teaspoons, how many teaspoons equals a tablespoon? Four maybe? Maybe that's why. Anyway, I have a chart. I should look it up. But anyway, I think it's so cool. Instead of having, I also had, you know, previously gotten like the measuring spoons that have like five different things on them and you're flipping them all over the place. I think this is so neat that you can do it, you know, definitely for dried goods. I don't know, you know, liquid 
if it'll seep or how accurate it is, but definitely, I think it's good, because look, it like totally seals. So I think it is so neat, instead of having like 10 different ones swinging together. Um, so I'm gonna try that out. I love that find. Um, I'm sure it's not new. But anyway, I also picked up these towel, um, these are drying mats. So, I mean, we have a dishwasher and stuff, but um, for pots and pans, I like to air, if I air dry them, I place them down. Or just like a mug, I like to rinse, you know, and, um, or like the plastic containers, you know. But I like to, I use a dish towel right now, but this is kind of nice, a microfiber drying mat. So I got one in this and one in this and then who did I I think it was in spite of she suggested but she got the idea maybe from do it on a dime or somewhere where they used it for their um, pet bowl and I have a dog I think she had a cat and the water bowl just gets all over the place we have it in like the bathroom on the first floor so we have a tray but I think, you know, a towel is more absorbent. It would be great because she is a sloppy drinker. <laughs> so I got those two. And I also got, you know, a dish towel to match. And I just love these lemons and limes. Um, so also I found a lone washi tape um, like this one. So it's red glitter and it has these... Um, is it heart? I thought it looked like a heart when I looked at it. But um, it's like this design. Actually, it looks like eyes staring at me. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So I got that one. And then I also picked up like this coin purse. And I love, you know, I'm always digging around for coins. Like Aiden loves it when he sees those, you know, gumball machines or whatever, and I'm like digging around for coins, but if I had a separate thing just for quarters and coins, that would be wonderful. They had the sock, this is a sock one, but it doesn't look like a, too much like a sock, so I thought I liked it <laughs> better, you know, there. So it's like hound's tooth and purple, I love that. And then some beauty stuff I picked up. So I finally found these, um, these bath fizzers, I've never tried them. I have a tub. I hardly take tub baths. And um, I thought I might try them out, but they are huge. I don't know how to do this. But I know Natasha. Hi, Natasha. She does Dollar Tree hauls as well and crafty stuff, but she had purchased them. And I think she recommended the gardenia. So I got, these were the loan two on a whole shelf. My son found them, actually. He was like, look, Mom, <laughs> like these balls. And I was like, oh. I was like, yes, grab them. <laughs> But seriously, it was like a whole shelf that was empty. And these were all the way in the back, like rolled in the back. So, and this one's a vanilla scented one. So maybe I will treat myself to a bath and try these out. I've never tried these. I think um, Lush makes them also, but these are from, I don't know. I don't know what company. Greenbrier. So I think Greenbrier is the, the company um, from Dollar Tree, right? So those were a nice find, and then I also found, I don't know if these are new or not, but I found these emery boards, and look, I love this blue. And then just the animal print, the tiger, and the gold, and then this. So, they're so pretty. So there's just two of them, and they're by Sassy and Chic. And then I found some new stuff, too. They have... This Nesquik strawberry flavored lip balm. I think that's so cool. So who doesn't love Nesquik, right? And then these Bl Blistex. I thought this was a great find because I've used Lip Blistex in the past, but like the the minty kind, you know. So this is <clears throat> the raspberry lemonade blast, and then an orange orange mango blast. That smells yummy. Both of them smell yummy. So they have SPF 15 as well, so great for the summer. I'm so glad. Um, they These were, I think, hanging in the makeup section, but then they also had them in the like that box thing that come out that you can just pull out, um, like hanging near the, the makeup section as well. So that's another cool find. 
And then let me see how much time I have. 10 minutes. Let me do the food one in a separate video. Okay, guys? Bye, guys. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you like this stuff. Okay, bye.